Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. On today's episode, it will be a very short episode where I will target all steelhead with plugs on my local river. A lot of anglers have been asking me whether or not since the salmon season closure are there steelhead present in the river. The answer is yes, there are some steelhead present in the river with the cooling weather we've been having lately. There's been a great number of salmon that have entered the river and with that being said there will be steelhead following these salmon that have entered the river. I will be trying to target the steelhead on this ultralight tackle due to the fact that I don't want to hook a salmon especially with the salmon closure. There will also be a lot of smolt present in the river this time of year as well. Learning how to read water is key for targeting these small steelhead. Oftentimes more than not, as the salmon enter the river, most of the holes will be occupied by salmon. However, the steelhead and the smolts will tend to sit below the tail water of the holes below where the salmon are holding. This is a small wild smolt. I will show him to you guys real quick and I will let him go. Thanks for playing buddy. Off you go since you want self release. This is the second year in a row with the salmon closure in effect. And what I found throughout the years is with the salmon closure, the number of steelhead that have been entering the river had been greater than normal, especially for our fall season. This is actually another very small smolt that has struck the minnow plug. I find that these plugs will often catch both adults and these smaller smolts along with several half pounder. This is another very small smolt but I'll show him to you guys real quick and I'll let him go safely as well. So some of the anglers might be wondering why I'm not using a bigger plug. The reason I'm not using a bigger plug this time of year is particularly because with a bigger plug I can't actually target the salmon successfully. Some anglers might not care about the closure as much and will continue trying to target both species regardless of the closure. But on this channel I aim to advocate for following the laws set in place by our local counties and our state government. Now this is the target fish I've been looking for. I know this is a steelhead and not a salmon because of its violent head shake when it struck the plug. Unlike a salmon that will be extremely heavy when it strikes the plug, steelhead will often be characterized with violent head shakes and jumps. I know this is an adult steelhead, particularly because of the violent head shakes it is performing. During fall, these steelhead will be a lot on the smaller side compared to their winter cousins. I find that it is because their winter cousins will arrive a lot later when during the upper river closure. So therefore, most of these steelhead in the fall, I will treat it almost similar to my river trout fishing. Another great alternative to throwing plugs and throwing hardware is also using bait. There is no bait restriction on this river, so particularly I will also like to row fish during this time of year. But unfortunately, due to the salmon closure, it's been extremely difficult to get very good fresh row. I particularly don't like carrying row from the vacuum sealed products because often more than times than not, they are up water locked and have a bit of freezer burn. This is a very nice adult fall run steelhead for my local river. I will show him to you guys real quick and I'll let him go. This is a very nice bright wild steelhead. You can tell this is a wild fish from its adipose fin and not a single fin out of place. It is gorgeous and it is beautiful. I'll show him to you guys and off he goes. Another key area I will often target are side channels to the main channel that will cut the rivers. I ended up hooking another very small smolt but these areas are not to be underestimated despite its very skinny water. Some steelhead will actually run up this tiny skinny waters but most of the time there will be smolt present in these waters as well. I'll show this little guy to you guys real quick and off he goes. Thanks for playing buddy. Off you go dude. So overall I hope this episode helped those of you guys that are out there curious wondering about how to target these fall run fish. I will often treat these fall run fish the same way I would treat any form of river trout fishing. Particularly because before the salmon spawn many of these fall run fish will often not revert to just being egg eaters but can be caught on a wide variety of lures. This is not a steelhead, neither is this a small. It is a native species, a hard head. Thanks for playing little guy, off you go.
Overall, it was a great evening on my local river. I managed to hook into a small adult fall run steelhead, and it was worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, tight lines, y'all.